Today we're diving into Windsurf, the latest AI coding editor from Codium. This is not just another review, I'll be showing you exactly how I use it to build a micro SaaS and why this tool might be a serious competitor to Cursor, which has been dominating the AI coding space. My name is Quentin, I'm an AI automation freelancer and I share my learning experience weekly. If you want a more exclusive behind the scene content, consider joining my newsletter at joinmyjourney.com. All right, so we are back into Codium. This is actually the website for downloading Windsurf Editor uh, over there. Uh, I discovered the editor a couple of days ago. I was watching uh, AI JSON uh, video and he actually showcased uh, the build. Uh, I was actually building a, a SaaS as well uh, on this channel, uh, which I, I found it actually very interesting. One of the main feature that I love about, and I really, really vibed when I actually started to use it, was the fact that I could use my boilerplate and the system or the editor would actually analyze the whole boilerplate and then adapt it based on my code base. And when I say my code base, this is not just like a two page. That's actually a wall. That's a wall boilerplate over there where we have actually, um, like we have a lot of stuff ongoing over there. It's not a small code base, basically, uh, a small boilerplate. And so I literally, and I'll show you, I'll show you uh, on the editor uh, in a couple of uh, seconds. I, and basically what I wanted to do, I wanted to actually confirm that the system could understand the code base, and it did. Like, literally, you'll see in a, in a second the prompt that I gave. I literally had no idea. I came up with the idea of the SaaS when I was actually building it or when I was actually using the software. Um, and it took me like from installation to actually having a, a final product took me actually less than three hours to, um, to do, to perform. One of the very, very important feature here, if you have a bowl of plate, if maybe you've actually experienced this before, at, at least I did using bolds or using actually replit, um, I feel stuck sometime like this doesn't work, please fix it. And then it's been over and over and over. And then if you didn't actually create your database properly, if you don't have your proper schema and your proper actually uh, reference to the database, uh, it's a whole nightmare to come, to, come, to come back out of the loop, uh, basically, and have a, a working solution, uh, which I have to mention, in this case, Windsurf surpass my expectation. Uh, I'll show you how the, the app looks like. Um, it came with a whole Superbase migration file. I don't know if you ever tried to make a Superbase or have you ever tried to make a database migration file using actually Bolt? It's very challenging at one point. Same with Cursor. Again, if you compare, I'm, I'm saying Bolt. If, if you compare as well Cursor and Windsurf, Cursor is not analyzing the whole code base over there. It doesn't know exactly how to do it. And, and they have also, before I show you, sorry, I, I back and forth over there, but like really this is actually, this, if you have to summarize what's actually Windsurf, this is exactly it. That's actually how exactly this is supposed to work. You literally have an agent that will actually work based on your code base and manage to do actually step in order to have your product, right? So before I jump into... Uh, Windserve, I'll show you the product. Uh, that's actually the product uh, over there uh, that I've made. That's a fully functional with Superbase integration SaaS or micro SaaS. Um, I can actually then refresh the page to show you this is actually not static over there. I like this documentation uh, challenge. Maybe I need to restart the server. I just wanted to show you in this case, I don't know, like a racing a car uh, in the field. I'm actually generating this now using actually replicate. So I'm making an API call to replicate models. And this is actually uh, giving me a coloring book uh, over there. I have actually available credits that people can actually purchase. I have actually some statistic over there. And there you go. I have actually the image being generated. I can download it right away. Uh, and that's actually download the image that I can actually use for coloring book. If I wanted to, I can actually view my uh, history uh, over there as well. I can actually potentially buy credit if I wanted to. I mean, like this took me literally this when I when I asked Windsurf to create me the model for buying credit. He came up with this. The only issue I had was the background was transparent, so I couldn't see anything. As I just mentioned to Windsurf, say, hey, my model for the buy credit is actually a transparent background. Please fix this. And he came up with this. I don't know if you try to do this, but that's pretty difficult. Really making this dynamic over there in React is actually a whole nightmare. And the fact that I could actually have Windsurf doing this for in two, literally two prompts, that's been mind blowing. 
So this is actually a full Superbase um, uh, Superbase instance running. So the SAS is running into Superbase. I'm using actually Superbase uh, authentication um, for the system. So I can actually have my user to uh, authenticate uh, over there. So I have the authentication uh, system being generated or being handled via Superbase. I have actually the table editor. My table has been done automatically using uh, Windsurf as well. I had actually a couple of challenge where I didn't have the relation right between actually the credits and the user. Uh, so I had a couple of exchange with Windsurf on how to come up with the migration file. But I literally have a working solution within actually with windsurf and imagine this having a working solution in less in under in under three hours of discovering the software so me actually discovering it had literally no idea how what i wanted to build uh, if i do uh, command l uh, on um, keyboard uh, i see uh, so obviously the boilerplate come with actually a dashboard the dashboard is just a white page my initial prompt was this Rework the dashboard layout to be more useful. I want my user to have an API credit every time they run an automation. Later on, we'll add a functionality, but for now, I want the dashboard to reflect more like a SaaS experience. That was literally my prompt, my initial prompt. And then it turns out that the system analyzed my wall, bullet plates, and come up with actually modification, come up with actually some solution asking me to install some extra package on top of my current uh, package for the boilerplate. And literally, uh, that's actually been amazing. And then I had actually, uh, obviously had some challenge. I copied the error over there. And like the whole experience has been fascinating. Like, it's been amazing to see. Um, I have actually, the, I, I mentioned about the uh, hydration, uh, hydration issue. Uh, so I had actually a couple of back and forth as well uh, on the hydration. I said, like, please fix the hydration is still there. You managed to actually fix the hydration at one point as well. Like fixing an hydration issue within the code, it's actually not easy. Um, I had also, again, the database, uh, let me actually see if I can find out on the database over there. Uh, it was actually telling me how to actually, you know, log in into the super base and how to push, how to push the migration. This has been, the journey over there has been actually amazing. So my suggestion, if you are uh, if you are actually using a ball of plate, for example, uh, my, my suggestion would be first use a ball of plate, and then you can actually potentially use Windsurf. You will see the true potential of Windsurf using actually the, a ball of plate, in my opinion. Um, other quick uh, uh, information as well: the pricing is also cheaper than actually Cursor. Uh, it's actually ten dollars a month uh, uh, over there. $10 a month for the pro version. I literally cancel. If you if you go for the yearly plan, that's actually $8. Uh, I literally cancel my subscription on Cursor, and I'm actually now only going to use actually Windsurf. Uh, like, this is this is already, this is already made. This is literally a micro SaaS over there. The potential is actually very, very high, and I actually really enjoy Windsurf. I cannot suggest you uh, more to use this. The code for the micro SaaS will be actually available down below. I'll definitely suggest that you actually take this, uh, take, take a shot. I hope you have enjoyed the video and please, this is actually the first time I'm doing this type of video. Please smash the like and subscribe to the channel if you feel that it was actually somehow uh, informative uh, for you. Uh, the micro SaaS code is actually now being uploaded to GitHub and available. Um, you might actually be able to have a solid base for you to iterate over. I cannot wait for you uh, to show me what you've been building with ActiveWindSurf. And until next time, I'll see you next week. Thank you very much for watching.